So over Christmas break, I wound up having the opportunity to spend a lot of time in my shop and I also got a torch for doing jewelry work. It was my Christmas present from my parents and from myself and I'm just super excited about it. I wound up being able to spend a lot of time making some really cool things over my Christmas break and I just wanted to give you guys a little tour of my studio in my parents' garage. It's really awesome and I hope you enjoy it. All right, so we're in the garage and this is the most exciting part. You guys have to come see my studio. This is where I've been spending like all of my time working on all the jewelry creations. We're in here, you see my workbench, this other awesome workbench, all these awesome shelves that my dad put up for all of the chemicals. I've been saying the word awesome a lot, but that really just epitomizes this entire room. It's a little bit of a mess, but that was what happens when you're working in here for hours and hours on end. And I cleaned up in there a little bit. That's after the math of the mess. So this is, uh, I'm stamping individual letters for a bunch of book necklaces that I've been making. I'm actually recording this audio a couple months after I started putting together this video. I had lost the files on a hard drive. Anyway, here I am sawing metal, but I have a band saw for straight cuts now. I only use the hand saw for detailed things. Here, etching copper with a chemical that I made myself, well, mixed myself. That's polishing a puzzle ring with a Dremel tool. This is a drill press. Drill presses are awesome. And this is the torch, which is absolutely amazing, and I love it, and it's so awesome. Oh, my gosh. So, yeah. It's a uh, propane and oxygen torch. And here I am in the frigid garage uh, trying to make a ring. out. Uh, this ring actually began as just um, a wire of sterling silver. And you can see here I'm trying to solder it. So I'm uh, having a little bit of a struggle with it right there. But, you know, it's all a learning curve. And eventually I'll get some really awesome things up. Poison! Crockpot, this is poison. A necessity in every jeweler's studio. This is Sparex, a uh, not super terribly strong acid. But, you know, you still don't want food to touch it. It cleans, uh, cleans metal. Here is the 3D printer. It's in my dad's office right now. I was printing out Deathly Hollow symbols to electroform. Uh, 3D printing normally just uses plastic, which in an oven itself is not going to make very sturdy jewelry. But... I have a Deathly Hollow symbol from Harry Potter, which I printed on my dad's 3D printer. And I covered it in this copper conductive paint, and I wrapped it up in copper, and I'm going to do some electroforming. So this is a little vat of a special acid, and this is a rectifier, which sends uh, an electric current through it. So we're going to stick this in the acid, and hook it up and make sure everything's adjusted in place. I have to not touch the acid, that'd be bad. All right, so it's all ready and I'm gonna turn this on. I'll be adjusting settings in a minute and leave it in for about an hour and it will coat it in copper. This is also how I can turn leaves and other items into copper. It's a really cool process. All right, so here's the electroforming solution and the rectifier, which is huge, but I got it from my dad's work. They weren't using it anymore, so a little bit overkill, but awesome. And this is just a small sampling of what I have been making. Uh, these leaves and other things turn copper. These, I have, I'm showing you a shot of my neutralizer. Oh, and this is some stuff that I etched. Um, and here I'm trying to make my own jump rings. Well, I was succeeded in it. I'm also trying to do a faster way that uses the Dremel tool. It's not as successful. That's a lot of wire. I have a lot of wire. It's an amazing collection. And my sign that says, do not touch all the chemicals ever. I have more chemicals up there now. Baking soda, world's greatest neutralizer. Boxes and boxes of beads and chain and all my findings and whatnot. Thanks so much to my little sister for helping take this video and being my apprentice over Christmas break. She's been really helpful.